people have been using the word political establishment for like 50, 60 years. Know, it's been decades. Uh, Martin Luther King used the word, I think. Right. But Bernie Sanders is, um, he's doing too much by using the word. And he's suggesting something that he's actually not suggesting. But people are saying that he is. So anyway, um, just this is just a, a short clip. This is a clip from CNN. Because um, Bernie Sanders did use the word saying that how we're fighting against the establishment. And then Biden had a response. Joe is running a campaign which is obviously heavily supported by the corporate establishment. The establishment are all those hard working middle class people that got to the Americans, those single women. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Joe is, uh, of course, playing around with the truth here. And um, whenever, whenever anybody talks about uh, fighting against the establishment, they are talking about establishment folks that actually have power. So we're talking about the corporate media who has a vast amount of power. We're talking about politicians who have a vast amount of power. We're talking about super delegates. Uh, yes, yeah, super delegates who have a vast amount of the unelected power. The billionaires that fund his campaign. Yes, lobbyists. That, that, that's what we're talking about with when, when, when anybody's talking about the establishment. That's what they're talking about. They're not talking about voters. Simone Sanders, who is uh, on the Joe Biden team. Um, one of his advisors, one of his senior advisors, uh, she took this, took this call or took this pushback from Joe Biden and she responded, uh, she ran away with it on Twitter. She said, people who keep referring to black voters as the establishment are tone deaf and have obviously learned nothing. Now, she wasn't the only one to suggest that people were associating black people with the establishment. But this is a completely... False narrative. This is a lie. Nobody. It's a straw man. Yeah. No, no, nobody has ever said that, oh, you black voters, especially the black voters, oh, you black voters, oh, all of you uh, uh, voted for Joe Biden, so you are the establishment. Now, we have talked about how voters vote for the establishment time and time again, but that's an important distinction to make. You have to have some type of power, some type of money. You have to have some type of influence to be considered part of the establishment. You can vote to propel the establishment forward or to keep them in power, but that doesn't make you part of their crowd. They, I think, oh no, no. I know she knows that. And um, they know exactly what they're doing. She knows exactly what she's doing. Is anybody else doing that? Other there's a lot of people doing that. There's a lot of people doing that. Yeah. Like, and it's not just white moderates. It's black moderate liberals who are doing this too. Yes, they um, are. and it's 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 quite to me it's quite heinous because they're using black people as a shield to protect the wealthy donor class. Yep, exactly. that's that's why it's so that's why it's so egregious. Disgusting. Um, um, uh, Bernie Sanders, because you played that clip yeah. from um, you played that clip from uh, uh, Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bernie Sanders, he responded to it on Twitter. Yeah, he said, uh, no, Joe, the establishment are the 60 billionaires who are funding your campaign and the corporate funded super PACs that are spending millions on negative attack ads attacking me. We know that to be like the, 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 the whole notion that we have to explain ourselves so that Bernie Sanders has to explain what he's talking about with establishment. He didn't invent the term. He didn't invent what the term meant whatsoever. On CNN, Chris Cuomo, he was speaking with uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who is, uh, uh, of course, uh, a new uh, congresswoman. Not so new anymore. I mean, coming to the end of her term, uh, running for a re-election, of course. But she is a um, uh, fierce supporter of um, Bernie Sanders. And uh, this subject came up about the use of the word establishment. Uh, the use of the word establishment, okay? I think the case can be made that you lost to Democrats last night. Not the establishment. There are too many different demographics that came to play on Biden's side. You can't dismiss them all as part of the problem. So you are injecting a progressivism into a party that is mostly center left. First, let's talk about the language. Do you have to be careful about establishment because you make people feel like African-Americans, like all of a sudden they're part of the problem? Well, I do think that there's a kind of a disingenuous um, 
com conflating of what we mean. Uh, sure. The fact of the matter remains that Bernie Sanders is now the only front runner in this in this race that does not take corporate lobbyist money. Mm -hmm. He does not take money from health insurance health insurance executives. He does not take money from fossil fuel lobbyists, and he does not have closed door. Um, he does not have closed door fundraisers with elites. And uh, and I think that that is an important distinction. Now, if you voted, um, if you did not vote for Senator Sanders last night, that doesn't mean you're part of the establishment. And I think every American knows that Washington has, there's a very strong grip of special interest in Washington. Mm -hmm. Bernie Sanders has a unique integrity. He is not bought and he has zero uh, corporate lobbyist money financing his campaign. You think that Biden is, is bought? I think that there's a, there are real issues with um, where where campaign money comes from, and I think it's not um, it's not a secret. This is how many of the if even swing district members won their races in 2018 because they do not take corporate PAC money. There are some that are very progressive. There are some that are very conservative. But one of the through lines that we saw in 2018 was that if you won your race, you likely did not take corporate PAC money. It is a huge trust issue with voters, and I think that Bernie Sanders has that trust. What he says, he will do everything he can to deliver. That wouldn't have been me. And I, right, I think it's about that time because we talked about it before Super Tuesday. Yeah. Um, I asked the question about money and politics. If money and politics corrupts, who is it corrupting? Mm -hmm. Who is it corrupting? Nobody seems to ask that follow-up question. But as far as like, because... The overall narrative surrounding his questioning and uh, Biden's uh, distortion of the term uh, establishment surrounds, it, it, it surrounds black voters, right? Mm -hmm. Surrounds black voters. That's the question. And I, I, I'm personally not going to involve myself in coddling black people, especially older black people, because there's this respect your elders. Um, it's complicated for, uh, you know, older black voters type of talk, especially, especially after Super Tuesday. But last time I checked, black people are human. Last time I checked, black people are human. So are you going to tell me, you're going to try to tell us that black people are not susceptible to corporate propaganda, manipulative campaign ads, just like everyone else? We're going to sit up here and act as if that's not the case? And so it's they know like, better than everybody. So whatever judgment they make is the right one. Is the right one. You know, you might want to mark this day down uh, because this is something I never saw myself saying. These moderates, both white and black, are literally gifting Candace Owens material right now. True. That's what they're doing right now. Um, because all these moderate liberals, right, when time comes, and it will come, when the conversation about black Republicans or black conservative Republicans come up and how they vote against their own interest, these, these moderates, they won't coddle those, those people. They won't. They'll talk about how these black people are voting against their own interests. We don't see how they can vote for Republicans and conservatives. They don't come out and coddle those black Republican voters. So how come black voters on the Democratic side are untouchable? Can you explain that to me, Will? Simply because they're black, they're untouchable. Like I don't, I don't. Like have when it comes to voting against your own interests, are we going to act like people, black people who vote for Democrats, are not doing the same thing? No, I, I don't have any um, problem condemning black people. Just, I mean, th like you said, they're human. White people, black people, Asian, uh, Latinx, uh, it, it doesn't matter. Like you said, they're all susceptible to the same things, the same messaging, the same billions of dollars and propaganda, all of this stuff, right? Chris Cuomo said that the use of the term establishment makes black people feel like they are part of the problem. Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> Guess what? They are part of the yeah, problem. Uh -huh. <laughs> they are yeah. exactly a part of the problem. Just like white people are a part of the problem. Just like Asian Americans are part of the problem. Everybody is a part of the problem. You, by choosing to propel and to keep in place this apparatus, this, 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 this power machine of greed, 
by choosing to keep that in place, guess what you're doing? You're writing your own ticket to stay exactly where the hell you are right now. And just because you don't realize you're doing it, exactly. it doesn't matter. No, no, no. It, you know what matters, though? is your fault. It is definitely your fault. Now, we can choose to believe that these are low information voters. We can choose to believe that they're not low information. They're actually receiving a lot of information, but they're choosing to go in the way of the establishment because of whatever, wh wh whatever. It doesn't matter to me like what their motivation is. If you're a regular person in this country, and that means when I say regular person, I mean that you're not part of the 1% or the top 2%. I mean, you are living paycheck to paycheck just like the rest of us. You are struggling to make ends meet. You may have two jobs. You may be struggling to pay for education for your kids or food to put on the table or clothes or a car or damn health care, whatever the case. You're struggling just like the rest of us, okay? If you are voting, when the time comes, if you are voting for an individual, like Mike says, that says, yes, we can't, instead of an individual that says, we can do this, 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 and all of this, all that I want to do is to raise the standard of living of regular people in this country. The top tier people have gotten everything they have asked for, everything that they have campaigned for and lobbied for for decades. It's time to rein that in some. If you see that, or if you don't see it, doesn't matter. If you vote for the establishment, it's your fault. So if that includes black people, so be it. 